This is Andrew again with DPS Telecom, and today I'm going to show you the new Web 2.0 interface to the Timon Nakalar Master Station. It's very fast, doesn't require a lot of page loads, you get some analog gauges, it's just a really nice, smooth experience. So let's take a look. To access this new Timon Web 2.0 interface, I'll just type in the IP address of my Timon into my web browser. You can see I'm presented with a logon prompt. I'll just log in with my username and password. Right now I'm loading up everything I need to use the web interface. This will be the only page refresh that actually occurs. You can see it's already done. It's already loaded. I didn't need to install any software. Uh, it just comes up in my web browser. So on the left here you'll see various alarm windows. A blinking indicates that there's a change of state event. And the color coding tells me the severity of the most severe alarm contained within that window. You can see we've got a variety of battery voltage things. Uh, I also want to show the, uh, the keyboard commands. There are actually keyboard commands in this web interface, so you don't have to do everything with the mouse. So if I click onto one of these rows, I can now use my arrow keys to move up and down, which is convenient. And I, then I can hit enter and view some detail. And so you can view some information about this alarm. And I can even load up an analog gauge, but I'll be showing those analog gauges in a minute. So you can see I've got a variety of different windows. You have this nice accordion pane here. So I'm going to open up ports and jobs and look at some of that information. Go to 50 here. Uh, choose a particular NetGuardian RTU. I'll double click. Now I can see all the alarms associated with that NetGuardian. Various points. I can also view site statistics, which shows me the number of polls that have been made and the number of good and bad polls. And these continuously update every few seconds. So I'm able to see if I'm pulling my remotes or if I'm encountering glitches and errors. Controls here. This is where I would uh, activate control relays to control site equipment remotely. And I can pull up uh, a list of controls for a variety of different windows. If I had a particular alarm that was causing me a lot of trouble, somebody was installing something, I knew that alarm was going to be coming in and out, I could silence it, and it would then appear here if I wanted to unsilence it later. Something like a snooze button on your alarm clock. And now analog groups, these are really cool. Uh, I'm going to create a new analog group, and I'll click Add Analog. And Let's say, how about uh, Fresno Battery here, we'll add that one. And I'll add in uh, Readly Humidity, uh, Clovis Humidity, uh, Fresno Temperature. How about that? Okay, that sounds good. That's some analogs. Then I'll check some of these boxes here. You can see that all the readings come in, and they, some of them are too hot, some are too cold. All sorts of interesting things, but it's really easy to see what's going on with these gauges. And you get to choose between a variety of different gauges. <laughs> I like that animation down there. But let's say I want uh, to change one of them to a vertical. I can do that. It's the same data, it's just displayed differently. Or maybe I want that one to be a horizontal. You can see it's the same thing, but I get to pick exactly how I want my analogs displayed. You'll notice as I've clicked around here, I haven't gone to a single new web page. This is all with Web 2.0 technology. It's all loading up via asynchronous requests, and I don't have to keep refreshing pages. It's very smooth and fast, and it's just a very nice new interface. For more information about the Team on Knock alarm management platform, visit us on the web at www.dpstele.com slash teamon. You can also call DPS at 1-800-693-0351.